fast, right? So. Yeah, both sets. Uh, I, I didn't take a single game in one. Okay. But I felt like I played well. I felt like I played well in, in both of them. Like, I felt okay. like there, there were the types of sets where it felt like there was only a couple really big drops that happened or things I was missing. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, that was, like, the big thing. Like, the main things I want to look for... Um, because I've noticed it's just like a lot against foxes right now mm -hmm. is um, uh, how to handle foxes that try to take grab and overshoots off the table. Like they'll, that's like their main, like, um, like they, that's like their main go-to is they just try to take grab off the table or whatever. What and do you mean? Like your grab or my grab? Okay. Gotcha. Like they try to make, take my grab and overshoots off the table. Yeah. Gotcha. And just the reputation with norcal foxes is just i they just don't they still don't approach and i just uh, so again i have to accept that but i need to remember that there are offensive ways around it and they're making like a really concerted effort to just to just take those options off the table and it's very hard like i played snap earlier today and it was probably the hardest I felt like that I had grab and overshoots taken off the table, which I would say are my strengths. So I'm basically playing yeah, I'm basically playing to my weaknesses. And I have to like use different options that I don't normally like to do and play a style, at least to me, that I don't like, but I have to like have a good backup on to it because just the overshoots just aren't working. They're too well conditioned. Yeah. Right. Um and then the second one would be, what are ways to handle foxes uh, that like to cross up or force out of shield, uh, or and or force out of shield options? Um, a lot of times, like what NorCal foxes do right now, they don't do like heavy tech skill type of pressure on the shield. They like to cross up. They like to kind of dash around and toy around your space. To where they get, then they get you to do something. Like they're basically just oh, waiting okay. for you to do something yeah. out of shield, which is a good strat, good strategy. Don't get me wrong, but it's difficult to handle because they like they'll they'll like fake it to where like they try to bait me to grab. They'll try to bait me to grab. They'll try to bait me to do an aerial out of shield, and that's normally where I lose a lot of times. It's just like they either bait me uh, out of shield. Or wait for me to do the early dinner out of shield to where they can right. up smash trade or okay. beat me yeah. up, beat out the startup a bit. That's normally how I've gotten beaten a lot of times this week just from playing a ton of the foxes. Um, and that's like one of the big go tos, like generally that I want to like hash out. And then the last one is how to handle foxes that like to trade, whereas they're very content with they're very content with trading. Like they'll trade my nair with up smash or they'll trade my nair with a nair of their own or like gotcha yeah, yeah you know they're, they're content to take the trade because they know it's in their favor and like a lot of times you know i i like to say i'm good at trading but say if somebody is good at trading back or like knows how to match that trade to where it's like okay i can trade as well i had, yeah, to, yeah. I had to learn that concept those are like the main things because uh just like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of foxes, they have me on a stream right now. They're, they're trying to get me to scramble. They're trying to get me in scramble to do something. Not by camping, but, like, they're trying to bait me. And yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. usually bite a lot of times. And that's, like, the biggest thing. Gotcha. Thing. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Those are really good notes. Okay. Cool. So let's watch then. Um, so <clears throat> when you're in shield, I just want you to look for... Where are the spots where you think your role is being covered? If you think role is not being covered, we'll, we'll like pause it and I'll ask you if you think role is being covered or not. And then we'll also see if you think role is being covered, do you ever wave dash out of shield? You know? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Should I write this down for now or not really? Uh, no, we'll just, we'll just see if it's actually happening. Yeah. Okay, does it take a bit for this one to start? Let me see. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's the same tournament. Also, I played that Peach player, by the way. Okay. 
Also, it's kind of choppy. I don't know why. But that's nah, fine. I see exactly what you mean about <laughs> right away. He's not dashing back at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but his nose has a hitbox out, so like grab is like not there. So like yeah, I see that already. Yeah. Okay. Good patience though. Nice, very nice. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I still have that soggy. Nice. I mean, pretty much perfect stock almost. So, oh, oh, I like that upper though. Nice. Okay. So, this is, yeah, it's like really unfortunately choppy on my end for some reason. Oh, really? Okay, let me try restreaming. Yeah, it's like really choppy. I was able to see some of it, but it's just like. Okay. All right, try now. Okay, let me close some stuff. Much, much better. Okay. All right, cool. so, like, so let's take the first stock of what you saw. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, unfortunately, you didn't close out the stock, but whatever. You know, you missed an edge guard. But um, so notice that, like, the first time you got this opening, right? He, you dash dance grabbed this nair, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And so he does the same exact nair, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So you guys dash dance, you're dashing on the platform really, really good. And then I guess you get caught in your movement, right? Yeah, I got caught. Okay. Right, but just just notice that he did that thing twice. The same nair, you know? Mm -hmm. Just dash dance nair. Yeah. So if you're patient enough, he approached there, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Dash. Oh, close. Oh. Yeah. So usually in this situation, if, I'm not, if you knock him away, you want to dash dance a little bit here. All you're looking for is up E here. Mm -hmm. If they're above the ledge, you know? That's all you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Then you should be ready for it, you know? Yeah. If I... they side B, they side B. But it doesn't matter if they side B because you're at zero. It's not going to do anything, you know? Yeah, I've been... I actually uncle punched that actually a lot this week. Like, oh. in particular. Like, okay. this is from, like, a, about a month or two ago. Okay, okay. So, like, some of the edge guarding concepts that I've been working on at least the p this past week aren't there. I'm not too concerned about the edge guards right now. Okay, sounds good. Oh. I'm going to close out the stock somehow. It's just rough. Okay, I, I want to figure out something when uh, they catch, like, say I fall t towards that ledge. Yeah. I notice this happens a lot with good foxes. Yeah. They call, is, is, is it just kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of deal? Yeah. Yeah, you just try to mix up. I mean, going high is not bad, but I don't mind you going this, going going for this, you know? Okay. So it was kind of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. If you do it, and that was kind of okay di2 so yeah. good okay so this is important right here mm -hmm. you have to expect him to approach here look you're under the platform left side mm -hmm. he's gonna approach he's been approaching this is the thir third time he's approached you in the corner you know yeah so um you know, first time you had enough room to dash dance grab, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you have enough time to dash dash dance, nap, enough space to dash dance grab here, but you just got to keep in mind, like, that you're, he's going to approach here. So you got to be ready, you know? 
this is the third time he's done it and um you can either just back up stomp you know dash dance grab whatever it is you know okay. but uh yeah this is basically the third just time. like wait after the dash hand, like block dash chance and will approach basically yeah he will approach you know he he he's he's holding center but he's always approaching when you're in the corner okay so and you and you got like you you got like uh i don't know like 70 percent the first time you dash chance grabbed him you know okay okay but got him there yeah it's the same situation that happened for a stock nice all right. All right. Uh... I call. I try calling tech in. Yeah, that's fine. I guess this was just a misinput. Yeah. Okay. I meant to. I meant to instant up error. I tried to do yeah. that feedback. Yeah. That's that, really unfortunate. I mean, that, that's how it's honestly. That's what's been kind of frustrating. Kill you off this. It, it's literally been. That's what's been really frustrating. It's literally been I fuck up once and I die. Jesus Christ, that's pretty crazy, dude. That's and I'm just like literally like let's take this into account real quick. Yeah. I fucked up one edge guard and got completely killed for it. I fuck up a, a I fuck up an instant up here and I die for it. That's pretty much what I feel like has been happening is that I literally fuck up once and I die. Yeah, that's what, definitely what it seems like. Like, it's actually kind of infuriating. Yeah. I mean, the punish game is pretty lopsided here. I mean, you have to tech chase a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is really lopsided. But, uh, excuse me. Yeah, th that is frustrating, you know? I mean, that's what this matchup is. It's, I mean, it's a bad matchup, right? It is. But that's why, that's why also, when you hit somebody, you know, if you get a grab... Or a stomp, it should be almost the, the stock, right? Mm -hmm. So just think about that in neutral. But I mean, you just messed up twice and you got to put in disadvantage state for like an entire minute straight, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of rough in that situation, you know. But um, yeah, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep watching. Uh, you you went like really far ahead. Okay, so he's at sixty one. Yeah, oh so go go back to one situation. So uh, he's at sixty one and he gets I think up air or something like that. So he up throws me. Misses, yeah. and then he dashes back or like jumps back right here yeah this is sort of what i'm talking about when like they're taking overshoot off the table is that yeah because like overshoot knee is good at catching like dash away yeah but what if they're ready for it like blarg is right here and that's what's yeah. hard is that like what that is hard I, because what can i do to close in the space if I know they're ready for it because run up grab would be way too telegraphed. I can yeah, maybe, it's way too yeah. I can maybe only get away with that maybe once or twice a match where I can just run up and grab him. Like it would have to be a massive commitment and reading that he's there and yeah, that's not very yeah. sustainable. It isn't. And so uh, what I would do here is I would dash up and do a backflip right before. Um, so let's see right before you do this knee. Okay, so you dash here, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been, it was really close. It could have hit. But yeah. if you don't think they're going to dash away or, or do anything here, um, you could, you see where that, the, the edge of that Pokeball is? Yes. If you run and then jump and do a backflip, you can do a really late up air. Okay. So, like, so, it's similar to the sheet thing. Like, uh, what do you, yes. like the late fast fall off errors that we talked about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what that does is that if you miss it, you still have enough time, right? Mm -hmm. If they do dash away, you're still safe. If they if they stand there, you have a really safe aerial. Okay. Yeah, the up air is the move you want to use if you're not sure what they're going to do in neutral. 
Okay. Because I mean, Nair is good-ish, but it's it's um it's just it's just easy to beat, you know. Okay. Yeah. So think about up air here. Right, I'm just running down as a late fastball up air uh, to handle unsure overshoot situation. Yeah. Because I I got got by this specifically against snap. I got caught mm -hmm. by this like constantly today where i tried overshooting to brute force it and just nothing was working mm -hmm. and i'm like okay there, there's like if it's getting hard called like this to where they're just waiting for me to do it i have to change it up because otherwise yeah. i'll get blown up like this yeah yeah oh man it's rough up smash okay i like the up air Okay. Well, we hit him twice. Didn't convert. It's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just in general, I would just obviously we talked about a uh, dash back stop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a nice way to get like a cheeky or like just get a, a an easy opening, you know? Like if they weren't into it. Yeah. But you just gotta show it show it once in a while. But yeah, that was that was tough. His punish game is crazy, dude. It's actually he's, nuts. He's taking, he's taking games off of Johnny uh, on FD. Damn, that's insane, dude. So I'm, I'm like, okay, you know, even Jesus though I know, I, even though like the thing is like, this entire set felt winnable. Okay. Reason. It it literally felt like I just fucked up like three things and died. Yeah. Okay. Like it, yeah, it, that's, it that's what it, it seemed it like feel, the first game. It yeah. didn't feel it didn't feel like it, I was like massively discouraged at all. Okay, okay, that's that's cool. Okay. How much do you get off this? Nice. I could have double need that maybe. Yeah, probably. Okay, hand hey, right there. Okay. So, yeah. So. Right. Go ahead. So he side beats back and then. Yeah they go for either the trade or beat me out. This happens constantly against every good Fox. They do this. I want to learn how to hang around it because. Okay. Well, do you know that after this, this aside be at this length, right? Like he's already out of lag here, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, it's not so much the side B thing. It's more so okay. like the back, like the back air to beat my nair. It's not so much. Okay. Side okay. Thing. Gotcha. Okay, well, well, show me the next time it happens, and then we'll we'll break it down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But this is just an example I I found. So like they yeah. they either beat me out or they trade here. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That was good. Good movement. Beautiful. All right, and he's approaching you in the corner again here. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. right. Yeah. I was. Yeah, you're right. That was really good. Uh, all right so just think about when you're in your corner just leaving enough space to see what they do mm -hmm. like when you land here just wait like a split second uh and you're in their corner because they're never you they usually don't attack they usually foxes sometimes won't necessarily overshoot all the way to the ledge you know um sometimes they will but you got to make them sure you got to make them do it so if you're here by the edge, just wait a split second. Okay. Because they they're probably gonna whiff something or try to throw something out, you know? Yeah, well, and this is also a similar situation to what I was talking about. Is that the back air thing? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. a similar thing here to like is I either will nair, grab, or knee in these in this situation yeah. or stomp. Like almost every time. Yeah. Like I've I've found recently that waiting does work. Mm -hmm. but i don't know how consistent it is like when okay I, when i wait out that's like that's where i'm yeah. kind of stumped and like like just confused in this matchup yeah i could see that so the the waiting thing um you could wait aggressively by meaning you could dash block mm -hmm. you could just wave dashing down in place um the point is to just wait you know like mm -hmm. Just wait, because when you're when you guys are both neutral here, like you have to see if Fox 
how much lag is Fox in when you guys like, both land? Like right here, right? Yeah, he's on like any lag. Like only... yeah, you guys, right? You guys are both the same, right? Mm-hmm. So when he lands, you have to you have to like look at Fox on the way down. Did he throw out an aerial? If he throws out an aerial, you can punish him, right? Mm-hmm. But he doesn't. He doesn't land. He doesn't. He doesn't throw anything out, right? Yeah. So that's something like if you guys are both even, Fox's goal is going to win. You know? Yeah, they're going to beat me out. They're going to. They're going to beat you out, right? They're going to. They're either going to outframe data me or trade trade with me at worst. Exactly. Exactly. So that's where you have to recognize. Okay, if we're even, he's at, he's actually at an advantage. You know? Mm-hmm. So this is one of those situations where you're going to be like, okay, I just got to wait a little bit longer. You know, than I normally would. Is it similar to, like, we talked about this many years ago about, like, Fox shield pressure. It's kind of the same thing here in, co- in the corner. You make them exhaust their options. Kind yeah, of. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that like, for sure. Is, yeah. is, it, is it kind of like that? Or is it just, it like, is. wait and see what they do after? Uh, it's a little bit of both, but it is a little bit of exhaust their options, right? Because if you're in the corner, right, and they're not overshooting, that if they're not overshooting, then then you have to, then you're safe right okay like what can they do if they're not overshooting and you're in the corner they're probably just waiting for you to do something so they can yeah. win the exchange with either like exactly a back air and up till narrowing you back out frame data basically like yeah exactly it, it's exactly. only really a threat if they actually hold forward yeah exactly exactly yeah so just recognize that you know um and if that means you have to make your dash chance a little tighter in the corner uh, you just play around with it, you know? Okay. Because, I mean, it's 2023, and Zane is still getting dash dance grabs in the corner against Foxes, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Foxes are not overshooting, um, like, consistently enough for that, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's definitely possible if, like, yeah. Z- if, like, if Zane is able to do it, like, top, top level, or, like, Wizzy even. Like, it's yeah. definitely, it's definitely possible. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, just 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 think about that. Is the think about the okay, we're both even, no lag. Fox has little has framed that advantage, right? So I just have to recognize that mm-hmm. and use my patience here. Okay. Oh, what a punish. That's yeah, I mean, he, fucking he, crazy, dude. Yeah, this guy's nuts. Took, he actually took it to death. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, you did so far away. That was a really good shine. He caught the jump. Yeah. Oh, little tech skill errors. That sucks, bro. I can see Kilio. Okay. I had good DI on the back air. Nice stomp. That's what I like to see. All right, right there. Yeah. I actually fucked we... up the timing on this. Right yeah, here. I know. Yeah. I, I, okay. I just fucked up the timing. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Ooh, nice up air. Unfortunately, that side B hit you, but it's all good. Mm, okay, right here. I don't feel like you have to go forward here. It's not worth it. No, because you've, I mean, we've noticed that he's just approaching you if you're in the corner, you know? Mm-hmm. He will approach you. Yeah, he, he actually is, like, trying to commit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so just trust, trust it. Trust, trust your ability to, to back up, stomp, and, and dash dance grab, you know, a little bit more. Okay. Um, it, it feels like I'm always, I always have to make something, but in yeah. reality, I it's okay to have him do something. It feels like I'm trying to take control when sometimes I need to let it come to me. Yeah, for sure, and, and for that's, sure. And that's been very difficult to come by, at least in this matchup lately. Yeah. Like, I... There are some days where I've had it where mm-hmm. I just let the fox come to me and I just punish them for it. Okay. And then there are other day like others like this set in particular mm. where I'm trying to make something happen, but the reality is he's already given me the looks there. I'm just not taking advantage of them. Or like yeah, I, try, exactly. or I try way too hard, if that makes sense. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Because like 
I, I don't think you're you you believe that you're like you're winning neutral, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe you're not winning neutral being aggressive, and so you don't think you're winning neutral. Yeah. But you are winning neutral. You're just doing it defensively. Mm-hmm. You know? You you already got the dash away stomp. You got a couple dash dance grabs, right? Yeah. Like you can win neutral defensively and offensively, you know? Mm-hmm. But you just sometimes some sets you're just not gonna win it with both ways. You're not gonna win it the way you want to win it, you know? Yeah, and that's something I've been struggling to accept is that I had to remember that I have to win it. In, there's I have to win it in multiple ways. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. something that's and that's something that's very hard because I do yeah. have like a comfort style that I like to play. Yeah, and the better foxes, like the better foxes I play, mm-hmm. the more I notice that they usually take me out of that comfort. Mm-hmm. At, at least right at this moment, as of today my comfort type of style which is usually run up run up grab um get in their face run up grab and tech chase yeah to death. for sure like, for that's sure that's in simple terms but that's yeah. my general game plan right right exactly like your offensive you know neutral winning is really good right mm-hmm. but that's why he's not dashing away that's why he's just constantly um either attacking you first you know yeah because like if he did dash away and try to like um you know play kind of play like a normal fox or whatever you know mm-hmm. dash away whatever hit and run and stuff like that then you know you might be winning this set you know because you're you could beat that style you know yeah that's like kind of my bread and butter pretty much like yeah if, if i know i can close in the space i can just blow up the fox basically yeah yeah but um yeah, so d- don't forget you're 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 also good at neutral defensively, you know. Mm-hmm. So like the, the dashway stomps, whatever, you know. He's always approaching you in the corner. You just gotta like tighten that up, you know. Okay, I'm alright. You're not always gonna win neutral. Win neutral uh, in the way you want. Mm-hmm. Want. Sometimes that, that's why he's okay with taking trades trades with you because he's like i'd rather have new uh nathan win by stopping me doing this than him reading my dash away or something you know or him reading my jump yeah because it, 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 like in particular like players like blarg and then this is like a little bit beyond the fox matter but like players like blarg and umar are very good mm-hmm. versus me because they know i'm good at covering like dash away and stuff like that yeah you're good at destroying people that are afraid you know Mm -hmm. yeah like if i snip a little bit of fear they just they can just lose like because like like, i've literally seen it with players like i i snip a little fear out of them and then they literally just collapse or they just like fall apart so that's yeah. what I know. Like that is a strength of mine, and I yeah. And, and they 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 might not even know to say that, but they play to you enough to know that. Like, okay, I can't like give Nathan space because then once I give Nathan space, he he's just fucking like yeah. You know, it's it's my wheelhouse. It's like you can't, yeah. It's hard to beat me in that area of play. Like you'd have to c- come up with a really good game plan to like outmatch me in that sort of yeah. in that aspect of play. Exactly. Okay. So he approaches, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. See, look, Nathan, look, look. This is exactly what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay, look. You wait, right? But you wait a second, right? Just yep. wait a second. He's going to do something, and then you punish him, right? Yep, he commits that time after yeah. the tilt. Exactly. So that's a perfect punish to that, right? You can kind of use that against backer. It's a little harder. But yeah, you get it's, the little, idea, it, it's right? a little harder with it's a little harder with back here, but you get the idea. Yeah. The concept's still the same. Yeah, but look at this. You 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 did this dash. It was like perfect because you dashed right and you dashed like kind of like in the corner. Look, yeah, and like you turn around. Little, you, yeah, it's a little come, farther away. It's a little farther away to where like he, he can't do anything. It doesn't matter what he can't do move. anything unless he overshoots, right? Yeah, there's there's no way it hits unless he overshoots. Exactly. So keep just remind yourself that you know if he gets the overshoot, good for him. He read. Yeah, you know it's a, like, it's a good it's a good commitment if he overshoots. Yeah. Nice. Not look at that, yeah. Nathan. Stomp. Good. The stomp was good. It was a good defensive stomp. You know. I don't think this kills though. I think he. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! shit. Never mind. That was actually yeah. really sick. 
I did not know that hit. Good tech chase by him. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that stuff was crazy. I didn't know you could stomp that. I love stomping no tech. Oh, he dashed in. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Look, all your openings have been defensive. Mm -hmm. They None of them have been with you dashing in. They've always been in place, right? Or dash away stomp, right? Or waiting for a move, you know? And that's okay. You don't have to play, like, I'm at, you know, the aggro, I'm just going to read what you're doing kind of thing, you know? Yeah. You know? You're just getting your, your, your openings, but just playing really solid defense. Yeah, if you look at it, the stocks are completely even. It's like, yeah. you know, one good combo away. Yeah. yeah. He actually sidestep out of shield, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, he had to stop out of shield or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice, Nathan. See, oh, yeah, I, oh, forgot, no. about, I forgot about this. I didn't refresh. Yeah. Ah. Okay. That, well, that sucks because you played amazing that game. Yeah, I put my head down too. I wasn't even like tilted. I'm just like, man, because yeah. I knew I was. I knew in the moment I was playing well. Mm -hmm. Like I, I knew like what I was doing. It's like okay, I'm actually doing well, and I'm just like that's actually tragic. <laughs> no. Like, now you're playing amazing. But yeah, yeah now you just talk. Yeah, that, that's right. That's why, like, I wasn't discouraged because, like, I know what I'm doing is working. Like, I know I'm playing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you just need to realize, like, how you're getting neutral openings. You know, mm -hmm. like it's okay not to, not to not to make reads in neutral. Like, you don't have to make the read in neutral all the time. You can just play solid. You know, wait. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. And that's like the hard thing is that I'm trying to fi find the balance between reads and mm, just yeah. playing solid. Right, you're playing solid, right? I yeah. think my reads have gotten really good. Recently. Yeah, they've gotten I, better, for I, sure. I think they've gotten really good. But I need to balance the reads with just, like, solid gameplay to where it's sound. Because mm -hmm. I either have this really heavy imbalance where it goes to me having really good yeah, reads, yeah. but maybe not the best punish game or, like, solid yeah. game. Where, like, I well, focus more on out-reading them rather than, like, playing the matchup. Yeah, well, look at this. You, this is a perfect example of you doing both amazingly right here. Mm -hmm. I think. Yep, good defense, you know. Right right there, right? Really good defense, right? Mm -hmm. Make the read. Yeah, he dashed, he dashed back, and it was like the first time. Right. Yeah, did he actually dash back on one? Just double check. Well, he jumped back, but... he jumped. Yeah, he jumped back, but he had done that jump back multiple times. Yeah, so, look, you can do both, right? You're really good at doing both, yeah, you know? Yeah, he tried to do jump back laser, and I caught yeah. him. So, you can do both, right? You're, mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. That part just sucks. Again, it's another yeah. aspect that I've actually have gotten a lot better with. Yeah, that's why I'm just like, man, that sucks. Like, yeah, for sure. I'm not. I'm not even mad. I'm just like, shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> and th that's how the set is. This set felt. It's like I literally am playing well. I just yeah. die. <laughs> just die. Yeah. All right, game three. I think I did I take a bit. Oh, never mind. We went right back into it. He's approaching, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. That's another thing. So go back real quick. Uh, back to the tech roll away. Um. I actually mm. covered. I actually covered this tech roll away now, which is another grab. So that's just another thing I know. I used to not. Oh, be okay. Good. I haven't been good at. Co I wasn't good at t covering tech roll away for a bit, but gotcha. I actually right, so just, I just wanted to point that out. Okay, that's cool to know. Okay. Good. Just kind of gets you here. Yeah. Good roll. Nice. Away. Yeah, I fucked okay. up the pivot there. Yeah. Nice GI. No oh, shit. Good stomp. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Oh, 
is kind of what I'm talking about. I got, I got out of it, though. Got out of it, and look. Good job with that song. Okay, he just wasn't like, too low percent, but... Yeah. But, uh, that's fine. Barely hits you. It's fine. Nice. Nice. Good defense. Nice. Okay, right here. You definitely didn't have to go for this grab. It was a little risky. Yeah, he CC'd it right away. Yeah, so... Yeah, just remind her, just remind yourself, like it's okay to go aggro here, mm -hmm. but it's just remind you, like you're winning neutral pretty well. Like, you know, yeah, so, just I over pursued pretty much, over pursued, just gotta yeah, remember the percent. Mm, okay, now that's something to know, right? Mm -hmm. He likes to full jump out of pressure, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. He waited a little bit. Nice, beautiful, Nathan. This is really good. So, right here, like instead of going in, you kind of just you didn't go in immediately, which is really good. Mm -hmm. I got got there by that. Um, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I still went in because I tried. To yeah. Go Could have gone anywhere. Barely lost the interaction with a grab. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. Okay, still even. Nice. Good. Oh, barely missed. Okay, we. I don't know what that was. You guys both fucked up. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That co entire corner situation. So yeah. I just bite. Like, I'm just going to say this. This is, like, a habit in almost every, like, player. But yeah. just, like, specifically with good players that gets called out, I just like to just bite and just go right in because oh, I yeah. always think I could just reversal the situation. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's like, tough. And the, the better players I play, the more I realize it just doesn't work. It's just every bad player likes to really approach there. But the reality right. is it doesn't. It's not that solid of an option because they're it's probably not. just gonna wait for it, and they're gonna wait for me to be in lag or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's a good point. Unless you see something that's really punishable, then for sure go for it. You know. Yeah. But like, I like what you like, did before. You jump, double jumped over him. You got in the center. Yeah, like something like that. Like, and that's something I've gotten a lot more aware about. Is that like I double jumped to center, or like yeah. I just wait dash forward shield afterwards. Yeah, that was or even, good. Or even just rolls. Like. Yeah. Like, even rolls are fine. Or even just reset. Just, like, go back to ledge. Exactly. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, but it looks like you both, like... Yeah, we oh, both you read that. A bit. Yeah. yeah, and also that sucks. You just got the tech. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Again, dead even. Yeah. Okay. How's your opening going to start? Okay. We don't want to do this. We don't want to... Yep. This is exactly what I was talking about. They they're fine with trading there. Yeah. So yeah. Because they know they can win, or they know like the damage is like the harm or punish isn't as severe because it's like wait I can just outframe data. Exactly. Exactly. So you got to realize that, and you know he's been approaching you, so you know mm -hmm. no need no need to take the risk with a, a trade nair, right? If you're, yeah. I mean the snare is not bad. The first snare is not bad. I get it, but yeah, this snare. Yeah, this near, uh, this one, this time you got to like adapt here and be like, okay. Is is that yeah. like a situation where it's just better to shield or something? Yeah, just shield. Or, yeah. or like just react and see what they do afterwards. Like pretty much, yeah. Or you can just hold down and kind of yeah. So like I want to write this down. So after initial tra uh, after initial trade, what does Fox do after? Does that sound like a good one? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I mean, especially because we're 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 the theme of like, um, not trading, right? Especially if you're winning neutral defensively, there's no reason to take the trades usually. You know? Yeah, it's like because if I if I'm wanting it, it's like they want me to trade because I'm out defending them. Exactly. They're trying to get, exactly. to trying to get you to scrap, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was a good down tail. Yeah, it was. Okay, miss the punish. Uh, I found this out recently. So, hang on, go mm. back to that forward smash on shield. Cool. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, we're really close to this. That's fine. Okay. Right about. Yep. Yeah. I found this out that it's like not punishable. Oh really? I found out that stop out shield and the out shield. It's this is actually just not punishable. Jesus Christ! Is it on Falco though? I I I don't know. I haven't checked on Falco, but literally it's like, like weird with Falco sometimes. I, yeah. I, I, I fucked around with this and like because Joe Mega Man was doing it, and I'm just like, wow, this is actually just not punishable. <laughs> Like, yeah. If they do it, like you pretty much have to grab it if it's like right in your face. Okay. That's like the yeah. only way. And then like near you know, shield is like such a fucking commitment, and also like players are good enough these days to where they can just CC the nair. True. That's true. So okay. Well, that's point, good. No. I just want to point that out that the the four size one shield is like not punishable. <laughs> Dude, that's ridiculous. Okay. Okay, really good. Okay, he didn't quite overshoot here, right? He almost yeah. did. Almost. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Wait, right, you got out. He punched a dash tag afterwards, so hang on, go back. So I actually did, like, a good thing. Yeah, like, did. So this is good. He just, yeah. That's actually insane, that dash tag. Yeah, I can't believe he did that. It's actually pretty nuts, yeah. Well, I guess actually... The grab was nuts, too. Cut the slide off. Okay, don't forget to to dash away stomp even in the corner. Okay. You know, you do it mid screen pretty nicely, but in the corner you can also do it, right? Yeah. Uh, and like, so go back to that situation and where I did that jump. Right here, right? Yes. Is it okay to even butt stop this? Yeah, for sure, 100%. Yeah. Remember that the butt stop only gets beat if they're going, if they're nearing through you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he does not near towards the very edge of the stage. All right, all right Fox so. Nair only works when through you. And if they want to trade with that, you're totally fine trading for stomp, trading a stomp usually, you know? Yeah, like it knocks trade them down. Trade stomp is like... It knocks yeah. them down. Mm -hmm. it, no it knocks them down or can pop it can pop them up if they're already landed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep watching. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but again, this is why I'm not like too phased by this set. No, 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 it's not like, bad. Three of <clears throat> does not tell the story. Okay, he's approaching again in the corner. Yeah, it get it got choppy again for some reason. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't know if it's Discord or what. Okay, just make sure your stream's catching it because I don't want it to mess up if yeah, I. The stream's catching it. Okay. It's just, it's just like really choppy on the game, on the YouTube video for some reason on the Discord okay. live. So go back real quick. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, it's approaching again. Nice. Ah, yeah, don't approach it, there. Yep, it's exactly it. That is exactly the situation. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you know you guys are even. He has frame advantage. Yep, he just he out framed me and I died. Yeah, that that exact situation that where he just up tilts. I had to remember to wait. Yeah, plain and simple, and mm -hmm. that's. I mean, that's straight up why I lost that entire interaction. Pretty much, yeah. Like, just when Fox has frame advantage, when Fox has frame advantage, don't don't commit. Exactly. Yeah. Which has frame. Uh, don't commit. Wait and see what he does. Yeah, yeah. And you can wait and see what he does, you know, different ways. Jump back. Yeah. Uh, whatever. You can try to block. Just wait there. You yeah. know, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's Winner's Finals. Um, 
but and okay. now it's on the grands. Okay, cool. So um, same, same tourney. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's also a three zero. Okay. Um. So you're playing this guy second time in bracket. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you're saying like, well, what do I got to do differently here? If you remember, I know it was a little bit what it got, a little while ago, but uh, first thing is just like try to remember like right now what i'm thinking like if we're thinking in this moment is try not to um what is it try try not to contest when he has frame advantage that's yeah for my, sure that's my first thought okay uh, but what like, about uh during the during the tournament do you remember anything i mean I was, I was probably a while ago but it was a while ago but what i'm thinking off the top of my head is try to get grabs and um try uh try to out punish him try try to punish him okay. more because what i'm remembering also is that i felt it felt like i just got punished really hard yeah you did it, yeah. it felt like i just got out punished it felt like if i made one mistake i would mm -hmm. just die for it mm -mm. Okay. like it, it didn't it didn't feel like you know it didn't feel like he, he hit me with like a couple hits and that was it it felt like it was just he gets one big opening and then it's just death. Yeah, yeah. So that's okay, that's okay. kind of my general mindset. Okay, okay, for sure. Just want to see. Mentally, throughout this entire like tourney and set, I yeah. feel great though. That good, is the good, yeah. Thing. Like, that's good. I, good. I felt really good this entire turn, like this entire tourney. So like, okay. even after the loss, I'm like, oh, oh well, I felt like I played well. Yeah. <coughs> That was a flub. Nice. Okay. Really good here, Nathan. Right? He heals so like, four and I shield. He shield, right? Yeah. It was really good recognition, you know? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. So I like the reason why I like this Nair as opposed to a different Nair, is that it's super defensive, you know? Mm -hmm. It only hits him if he comes in, right? Yeah. If he doesn't come in, this doesn't work. Yeah. Nice, good Nair. Okay, but then you went in, you went forward here, right? Yep, that's a going forward Nair. Yeah, so just remember how much space you need for that Nair to actually work. Yeah, like I need like a bit more space. Yeah, yeah. Because it, because he's just closing in the space because he knows is that I'm too slow and like anyone's gonna want to trade with the first hit in air pretty much like that's what you want to do because yeah what's first hit, what's first hit in air gonna do to you probably not. exactly yeah exactly so yeah just here just yeah uh, look for the approach in the corner and punish it with something else here mm -hmm. interesting. Oh, okay. That was fucking nice. Yeah. Got got. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is this punishment? Uh, okay, we can't be holding shield there. It's a little too. Mm -hmm. Low percent. I, but, I think I'm um, starting to get a little scared. I think that's also why, because I just got punished okay. to death again. Yeah, and then he gets an insane punish here. And there was okay, but a little risky. Okay, I look for a defensive opening here. Okay. A little risky back here, or it's not, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Good. Ah. Yeah, I want to go back. So I got that grab. That late nair is something I actually get hit by a lot. Um, when they do that really, really late in there, like they'll that I I don't think Blart space did very well. I think okay, also yeah. because I was under platform, I think it also helps. Yeah, for but sure. Say hypothetically speak, the platform isn't there. I yeah. get hit by that or clipped by that a lot, where they just okay. fall down late, and they do it in a spacing to where I don't get this grab often. Like yeah, they'll, they'll yeah. do it in a fade to where they can either get a shine out or they can. Right, or they can right. dash out of it or whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to think like what would be a good way to handle that where 
they space that really late falling air in a oh. way to where it's really, yeah yeah it's like it's like a massive commitment if i true, were to get the grab yeah it is a massive commitment there yeah well uh what you can do is you can space an air right outside of it um you can also side b as like a yeah. you know it's well, not gonna like, always work but they they space it in a situation to where that nair doesn't catch the landing. Yeah. Like like I know we talked about it a while back where yeah. I can use nair to catch fox like landing with a nair of his own. But the the foxes are getting good enough now to where they they space it in a way to where it's hard to catch the landing. Yeah, it is really it's hard. Like it really makes it hard. Ambiguous as fuck. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. That's a hard one. Um Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would just take my turn, mm -hmm. you know, somehow, if you can. Uh, I don't know. That's really hard. I mean, it also depends on the percent, because you could also crouch cancel it pretty easily mm -hmm. and grab it, you know? Yeah. Because the, the... But yeah, that that's just really hard. I mean, I, what I would do if I'm not sure is I would just drive by stomp after the nair ends um just so i get center and if they like do something afterwards it could possibly get them catch them is it like better but, to just wait and see what they do after yeah i guess so but it's it's tough i mean if you can like that's where like these the, like, the little moves like four tilt and like down tilt are nice because you can be close enough and like punish the landing with like down tilt sometimes mm -hmm. but it's just i don't know it's just rough i don't know the exact i mean that nair is just so safe with fox against every character okay i mean yeah. I, I guess just uncle punch it and see like yeah because the hard thing is like i want to find something consistent to beat it mm -hmm. yeah I, I, I don't if know. i find something consistent then i can map a game plan around it yeah that's true like, I, I just and, don't that, and that's sort of and that's sort of like what i want is just like Mm -hmm. Can I just find something that I can like fairly consistently reliably do? Because that'll make my life much easier. Because it feels like wherever they pull this out, I start to scramble and flail. And yeah, scrambling and flailing usually does not lead to good things. Yeah, I would. I would. I would watch like I don't know if there's any other foxes that play like that do that kind of nair a lot. Maybe you could watch them just like Johnny uh, or something. Co Cody. Cody did. And then actually, okay. back when back when I played with Malcolm, Malcolm did this a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would watch some of that, see what the other Falcons do against it. But I, I bet you they have just a fucking hard time too with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially because the good players are always going to mix up the timing and shit. It's just like, yeah. All right, I'll just write Uncle Punch and watch other Fox Falcon sets. Oh. Yep. I actually cover that now. Oh wow. Second time Good he's done that. Him. Second time he's done that up B. Yeah. Good. I like how you're playing here. Oh. That's us. That. Yeah. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I hate Fox. Holy shit. I hate Fox. Fox. I can't believe he can get that much percent. And you were doing pretty well. Yeah. Fox hate is justified. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's approaching the corner. Oh. I like that grab. He's got a little momentum here. It felt like Blarg play is played really well this game or this turn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, don't you don't forget you, you got to go back to those um stomps too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, like you hit him with Nair twice, and then you keep like you hit him with Nair, and then you do the, you'll do the Nair again because mm -hmm. you're like, oh, it worked. But you gotta you gotta mix it up, you know. If you know he's if you know your Nair's gonna hit, you might as well hit him with a stomp, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. That that's like something that just is like off and on. I just lose trust in it because I get called out a few times for doing it. Gotcha. And that's why I lose trust in the butt stomp. Like I, if it fails like two or three times, I usually just stop doing it because I because in my mind I think is is just not working. And right, I, right. And it's like if I keep trying to go for it, I just start spamming it and just auto to it, which right. It's up. It's not the worst thing to do. If it's I'm not the worst, it. no. it's, but it's like smart people are gonna call it out. Well, yeah, but like, even, like there. Let's say you do the nair and it keeps working, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of having to stomp once and then just getting a combo, you have to you have to nair catch their tech, catch their di, right? There's just so many more variables that come when hitting a, a, a nair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. I like you on Dreamland. You're really good on Dreamland. Okay. It's a good stomp. It didn't work out. Yeah. The story I was talking about is that, like, a hand. Actually, I need to just do something real quick. I need to just okay. turn on the lights on or something. Okay. I'm back. Yeah, I, okay. I agree that, like, Dreamland is definitely, I'd say, one of my better stages. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel pretty comfortable here. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this stomp was good. You just have to make sure you, you don't fade into him with it. But the stomp was there. It was a read. You know, you got that read. So if you just did the stomp in place or slightly away, it would be better, you know? But mm-hmm. either way. Nice, nice fucking slide off. Nice. All right, you got to be careful. Mm-hmm. This dude is it, notoriously hard to grab after near. Mm-hmm. So. Yep, and this is what I talk about is that, like, I start just doing stomp constantly just because I'm, mm. like, I'm like, I hit it once just hit it right. again because like i i would say to an extent i've started to just find whatever the fuck is gonna work okay because yeah. some, because sometimes i feel like i'm the type of player where if i bash my head against the wall enough i find a way around it yeah for better or for worse and sometimes i just need to find that one thing and then it jump starts everything and then all of a sudden things play get better I don't know why, but I've I've just realized this is just how I am as a player. Is that mm. like, sometimes I just need one good thing to happen, and then all of a sudden everything just clicks. Yeah I, bo- yeah, I both like it, but it's also very frustrating because it's like I know the answers, but it's like I have to like give myself a massive concussion and smash my head against the wall enough to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. And I don't like that, but it's just, that's just my style right now. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's a good, there's, there's a good thing about that. That's very good because it shows you have grit, you know? It, it does. It does. It shows yeah. I have a lot of grit. But there are times where I'm like, I wished I was more consistent, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, you're more maybe like, um, yeah, clinical about it, for sure. Yeah, but it's just like, sometimes I've realized that it's like... I feel like it's just like if I get one good punch, I can literally carry that through like the entire set and just ride mm. off of it. And then all of a sudden good read after good read will hit. And then when I have like full momentum, I basically can steamroll a top ten player. Like I'm not even yeah, exaggerating. Yeah. Like it's a it's like if I get enough heat, I literally can just start beating top one hundred players. Which is a good trait to have, but it's like I wanna to learn to consistently do that. Yeah, for sure. Everyone can everyone can do that every once in a while, but it's another thing to do it consistently. 
Yeah, that, that's that's true. And you said a good point there is like, obviously, like the reads are going to be there, right? But like, mm-hmm. it's that mix between that, you know, that read and playing. I guess um, they say this, they say this term in basketball is a uh, def- or no, they say this term in um, in boxing and MMA is being defensively responsible. Mm-hmm. Basically, there's fighters that are really really good with their hands down. They're like. They're make them play their game. They once they're once they're on, they're unstoppable. You know, yeah. They're, they, but they're not playing. But they're not doing like the, the you know like putting their hands up sometimes and throw a punch sometimes. They're just, but they're amazing though, right? But like if you're defensively resp- irresponsible, then they get caught. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just think about that. You know, because like your defense is, you know, offensive responsible and defensive responsible. But yeah. Um, okay, cool. Let's keep watching. That was a good punish. Yeah. Also, uh, so I shifted to, like, I told you this a while back. And, like, in this time, I was still learning it. But I am now, like, pretty much fully L canceling with L now. And this is, like when I swap to digital R. So like this is still in that transition by the way. So like some of the tech chasing stuff is gonna be a bit a bit more off the Oh I see, I see. So, Interesting. Like, it, it, it's not as it, like I'm still like implementing it. It's a lot better now. Gotcha. Yeah that's kinda of crazy. I remember you telling me that. That's a yeah. crazy transition to make but it's been a okay. crazy transition, but I've made it work. Cool. Oh, what? That was so unlucky. Come on. Ooh. Oh, get your opening defensively. Get your... Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, think about this. Just get your opening defensively, not offensively. Yep. That he, was not... he just always picking out a button, you know? Yep. That was, uh, that was not defensively responsible. Hold on. Power shield's fine. That that nair wasn't though. How did you lose your jump? Uh, you just got beat? Uh, let me see. Actually, what happened? Again. Oh, I think he caught it with the up smash. That's why. Really? Holy I, shit! I think he caught it with the up smash. That's why. All right. Well, that was just bad luck. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, I fucked up that entire thing right there. And go back. So we go back real quick. Uh, so after like, the, yeah. So right here. So I get this is good. That's fine. I fucked that up completely. I meant to turn around back here. Then he just turns around and also matches here. Yep, and this is the trade thing I was talking about. Whether yeah. they're fine with trading, and I get got. Yeah, yeah. So just remember, you just gotta uh, give yourself a little bit more space here. You know, like you don't have to do this nair going forward. Like even a but, fadeback nair. Yeah, just fadeback nair. Yeah, but I mean that's just a really confident up smash. Yeah. So I I guess like right fadeback nair as a mix up. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just give yourself some, yeah, because you have room behind you, right? Use that space. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. Oh. I meant to instant up air, shield up, yeah. or jump. Yeah. He's just going to hold forward because he's up blue stocks. Oh no.
Alright, tough game. It wasn't that bad, but once he has a certain amount of certain lead, he can just kind of... You can do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, exactly. Good. Let's stop. He missed. That's nice. a, that's that's the tech skill thing. Yeah. I don't know what you try to do here. Uh, after the. Oh, you just messed up the back here. Oh, back. Okay, never mind. Ah, that's so unfortunate, bro. You messed up the back throw, and then that di off the fucking nair. You just go flying, dude. Because I tried dashing back. Yeah, that's. Fucking unfortunate. Nice. Good. Oh, beautiful. I like that. Okay, but barely missed it. Oh, nice grab. So, like, right here again. Yeah. Late landing. I like that upper. Good. You know what's weird, Nathan? Because I remember we were trying to get you to stop playing defensively. Mm -hmm. You know? But, like, it's kind of come full circle where, like, your defensive play is really good. Um, so now, now I kind of want you to do it more in this kind of – versus this kind of style, you know? And that's the weird thing is, like, yeah. uh, because – this is just a byproduct of NorCal Melee. Yeah. I, like, I feel like I play defensive very well, but it just feels like they play even more defensive. Yeah, I could see that, yeah. And it's like, I, I, it, at least to me, maybe it's just, it, it, like, in my mind, it thinks I'm tired of playing defensive, but I feel like that's all I do. When in reality, <laughs> people say I'm, like, hyper-aggressive, which I, I disagree. At least in my mind, I disagree with it. <laughs> I yeah, like maybe not hyper aggressive, but um, yeah, as long as you're not predictable on defense, it's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. But your defense is really solid. Uh, you know, just don't, just don't, um, don't abandon it, you know, because like against, yeah, just, uh, just saying. Yeah. Okay, just don't abandon. Yeah. Nice. That that uh, that back air thing you told me has netted me so many stocks. By the way, oh cool, cool. Like that back air thing. Like I take this with high praise. Someone said that like like a friend of mine told me that like he played none and he's like you actually cover that better than none. And I take that as really high praise. Dang. But I'm like I'm like okay, I'm covering that better than like top falcons. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's a weird angle to cover, but you got the hard hit too, which is like not easy to do. Yeah, you know? I just I, like, I, you can, everybody can get the light hit, but nobody can get the, the strong hit. You know? Yeah, I, I've noticed I've gotten really good at that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, because I'm used to like yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I move it. I jumped. Yeah, you jumped. I mean, it's the first time you did that, so it's even game again. Yeah, yeah, this isn't that bad. Gotta watch out for that grab. Okay, so here oh, we I go. The okay, tip I got the tip there. Got the tip there. Okay, so here, how are you gonna play this neutral interaction? Let's see. He's fading all the way back. I'm on platform. Oh. This is fine. There's not really a threat at right. this moment. Uh, okay, so you've been killing him on defense. Every time he's approaching you in the corner, not every time, but like you know, he's gonna approach you. Yeah, he he's been approaching. Yeah. Okay, he approached again. Clipped. It clipped barely with a drill. Barely, barely clipped. Right, but you had the right idea here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know how that hit you. Probably hit like your toe, but you really good. That was good. You just mm -hmm. barely got clipped. If he narrowed, he, that whiffs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like that you avoid that. But I just want to see what happens here. That, that hit the toe. That's insane. Dude, yeah. Definitely was going for that. Nice. Box. 
Fox, Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I fucked up the dead guys. It's fine. Yeah. Happens. That was nice for him. Okay. Oh. This is just like, that's rusty tech skill. On yeah. That. That's me trying to call roll. Oh my god, Nathan, what the fuck? Like that. Okay. Oh, what? That was a tricky ass recovery. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, dude. No, and that's where, like, despite everything, I felt like I didn't, like, the 6-0 I don't think tells the whole story. Like, I don't, no, think, I don't think I played bad, and that's why I was thinking I it's worth studying this set, even though it's, like, just from, like, a few, like, a month or two ago. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty happy with it, honestly. Like, I don't, yeah. think, I don't think there was a lot of bad things I did. I felt like no. there was just... It's similar to, I mean, what we've talked about with many players in NorCal. I've been going as, like, I'm doing well. I'm doing good things. It's literally one or two big things that ended, end up netting me to lose. Like, like, like the early jumps. Like, the early jumps, yeah. I would just get mauled by those. Like, I think, right. I think, like, three of those led to death. And then, um, like, freaking, um, Oh, like, like, like me trying to like overshoot like yeah. me trying to overshoot like it, it's weird and like it, it like it almost sounds counterintuitive to almost say i need to play more defensively but it's actually the case well yeah against this style for sure you know a but, lot like, of players play this style right now at least in okay, yeah well yeah for sure then then yeah so that's just something you need to like um just see, you know? Okay, so just because you're losing doesn't necessarily mean you have to play defensive. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless like, unless that's how you're getting beat, is they're doing this style, right? Mm -hmm. So just don't, I don't want to say default, I don't want to say default to defensive, you know? Yeah, and that's like, that's what I'm realizing you... is that I have to really think about styles now. Like, I've been starting yeah. a, ha I've been starting a habit log on players okay. now. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed it's helped. I've noticed it's helped quite a bit with certain styles of like, yeah. I can categorize certain players that will play this certain style. And I find that, like, I have this in this sort of, like, tier, per se. Okay. So, like, a Blarg, a Dark Wizard, and a Snap are going to be in this similar type of tier. Okay. Where gotcha. they can hold forward, but they're also extremely defensive. If that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Uh, and then players like a Wasabi, they're going to be, like, you know, kind of um what is it they're gonna be like kind of defensive yeah but, li but like they're gonna know how to approach or like scrap you out uh mojo's kind of like this as well we're like they'll still chill in the corner sometimes but they're yeah their offense is like not as like punishing or oh, like that is polished right right right, right, right. it's yeah. not as polished. yeah or like or like it it's polished in different aspects yeah if that makes sense that makes sense yeah yeah that for sure yeah yeah and then like and then there's like the run-up like the run-up foxes like the norwalks walks where they're just gonna try and bully falcon yeah you know, like, like I, i'm sort of realize i can really categorize yeah that's different good different that's... aspects so i guess for like sure. you know we had a hand so 924 melee uh i'm gonna just write you know what's the what we learned for this because even though there's very few notes on this, there's actually, it's like, it's of quality. Mm, that yeah, yeah. That's good, yeah. Um, so, do uh, you want me to just go through all of them and then we can just, like, sure, cir sure, like sure. circle them? So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, we came in wondering what to look for. It was how to handle foxes that try to take grab and overshoots off the table. Mm. We kind of covered that, actually. Yeah. We definitely covered that because... Um, we found that like the overshoot they're waiting for the overshoot a lot of times so it's better yeah. to think like what are good ways to still close the space but not make it as hard of a, 
as hard of a commitment, like the backflip thing. Yeah. Or like flip. dash dancing around to just navigate that space. Yeah. Um, what are ways to handle foxes that like cross up and force out of shield options? We kind of mm-hmm. covered that, I think. Like we we kind of covered. Yeah, that. but uh, yeah, Blog didn't really do that 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 much in the set, so. No, like not like other fo- not like other foxes, but like yeah. with him, it wasn't really much about the out of shield game. Yeah. Uh, and then how to handle fox uh foxes that like to trade. This we covered. Yeah. Yeah. This, for we, sure. this was uh, probably the main thing I think that really took over the set. Um, mm-hmm. because I he pretty much beat me every time we trade. Like I attempted to trade or I yeah. attempted like you know, um to nair like early. He would just wait for me to do something. And then hit me afterwards. Or, yeah, exactly. Like he, you know, he he wouldn't really hold forward. You yeah, know? yeah. So the nares you want to do against this kind of player are the nares you're okay with missing. Yeah, you know, it's almost like a nair that you needed a little extra space for. You know. Yeah, it's like it's like it's okay. It's like it's okay if it misses. If it hits, extra credit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now that actually so. When it's finals, it was a Blarg will dash chance approach when you're cornered, uh, when you're mm. cornered and when he's centered. Yep. There's one. I'll probably add that to like the habit log. So I'll like circle. I'll get that one like it, just an exclamation point because I'm gonna add that to my habit log yeah. on him. Um, play fastball off air to handle uh unsure unsure under overshoot situation. That's probably a that's probably a circle. Okay. Yeah. Was I'm thinking? Wait, what was that one? Late fastball up air to handle unsure. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, that's a general, just a good, just a good practice to do, and just Mm -hmm. in general, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, game two, Dreamland. When you land in the corner and see what they do before committing, what what is Fox doing? It's only a threat if they actually hold forward. Exactly. Yeah, that's That's a big big one. one. That's a big one, right? You're so safe in the corner unless they've overshoot right Mm -hmm. so you have more space than you think in the corner you know yeah i usually just i usually just get scared in the corner a lot of times because i've gotten i feel like just i'm so scared of fox cheese or just like any player cheese like gotcha because i just call those monkeys because they're just gonna go for the gimp and just try to kill me off of it yeah that's been just like it's a habit i've had to beat myself out because like Sometimes you're just gonna get got. You're gonna get back throw shined, forward throw shined. For like, sure, mar- for sure. Like, yeah. Morph camps. Like, a lot of it is like just PTSD in a way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, everyone's got a bolt. Every- like, any good character's got one bullshit gimp option. Sure, sure. Um, so that's just something I just gotta break that out of. Um, uh, uh, you're not always gonna win in neutral the way you want to. Uh, yeah. You want. Sometimes offense, sometimes defense. Yep. I think it's a good circle. That's a very good circle. Yeah. Um, it's only trouble uh, in the corner when they overshoot. Uh, that's yeah. basically just like a follow up on the yep. previous one. Not really worth circling. Uh, blog full hops. Uh, out of pressure. Eh, that's more of like an habit log. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's more of a habit log one. So I'll exclamation point that. Um, after initial trade, what does Fox do after? Is that a circle? Um, yeah, just just uh, it's more important about what you do after, you know, rather than the Fox. Like, should I yeah. worry about him or not really? Nah, it's just like if you notice if the first trade, you got to take that that if it trades the first time, use that information, right? Don't do the same move again. So it's probably yeah. worth. Is it worth circling anyway or nah? Nah, nah, I don't think it's that important. But okay. Um, it's okay to butt stomp in the corner. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. If you, because you're, da- you, this is important because your dash stomps everywhere else on the stage are really good, Nathan. You just got to mm-hmm. trust it in the corner too, right? Yeah. Because then you get predictable, right? He's like, oh, this guy only nares out of the corner, only only stomps forward out of the corner. He never like dash away stomps in the corner. Yeah. It's like, if because if I can do it in the corner, it's like, shit, he can do it anywhere. Right. Because if there's no way they can beat that unless they, like overshoot it right mm-hmm. and it's really hard to to because then they start then the worst thing you know you trade stomp with nair right and you yeah. might be off stage but you know 
it's they're not going to be able to follow up, you know? It's going to be hard because they're going to yeah. get knocked straight to the fucking ground. Basically. Exactly. Like, it's, it's a rough situation to be in. And so yeah. if I get the reward, pop them up, that's a D. Yeah. Do we have a... Let me look at the... Let me look up the hitbox for... Uh, I, I actually, I actually have it. Give me a sec. I yeah, yeah look up the hitbox for reverse butt stomp. Yeah, I actually have... I have it bookmarked, <laughs> bookmarked yeah. actually. Yeah, let's let's take a look at that. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna send it now. Okay. I'm, po I'm posting it inside uh, the server, so I, I have the Smashboards thread. Okay. All right, so I'm scrolling down. Yeah, scrolling down until you find Stomp. This thread is honestly it is it's from like 2010. This is still an amazing thread to this day. Yeah. There it is. All okay. Right. So if you can do like the frame by frame, it's down there, like the one frame. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so let's look. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty it's big. It's fucking huge, it, right? It, it's really big. It pretty much yeah. like it, it very much like anything like like past his elbow, like by his elbow, his left or his right elbow. There's like at least a hitbox there. Yeah. So just remember that. Yeah. Just, just, just like trust that butt stomp, trust that dash away stomp so much. Cause okay. It's the same, it's the same f theory. <clears throat> Why is Jigglypuff's fade away back air so good? Because of that, because of the really disjointed hitbox, like at the very yeah. end of it. Yeah. And what happens in melee is the hitbox drags with you. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Jigglypuff back air is so good is because the hitbox drags Mm -hmm. So if you're dashing away and stopping, the hitbox drags with you, you know? Yeah, and like that, so, that drag really adds a lot to where like, yeah, yeah. you can so, get it from like almost like a semi-character length out. Yeah, so that, that's yeah, that. That's just the one I want you to like really, really think about how good okay. it is. You know? Okay. And then, um, so we're going to go back to the, uh, what is it? Uh, Fox Air only works uh, when through you. Is that one worth putting down or not really? Uh, Fox Nair only works when going through you. Uh, no, no, don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, when Fox has frame advantage, don't commit. Wait and see what he does. Yeah, that's an important one. I think that's similar to the other thing we talked about. Okay. Uh, and then uh, that's the end of Winter Finals. Grand Finals. This is only a couple notes. That's a good thing. It wasn't a lot of notes this one because I think it was very clear. Um, when Fox lands with a late Nair uh, from... Wait, did I finish this note? Uh, when Fox lands with a late hit, hit in air from full hop. Um, oh, yeah. That uh, was the one that would, I didn't really have an answer for, but go ahead. Okay. Um, I, I just wrote down Uncle Punch it. I'll just write Yeah, because that, that that, that, that's just really hard to... Yeah, I'm writing question marks for that, because that's, like, that's an Uncle Punch question. Yeah. Um, remember to trust butt stomp. I think we already kind of reiterated yeah. that. Um, be defensively that stomp hitbox on your phone for your like your phone for screensaver or something. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> I should. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I fuck it, might as well. Um, remember to tr uh remember to trust butt stomp and then uh be defensively responsible as well mm -hmm. as offensively responsible. Yeah, that's a circle. Yeah, and then uh, fade back there as a uh, as a mix up and then. Uh, don't abandon defense, and that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Like, so I mean, I have a couple things on the habit log, and then I also have like you know the what we learned. So now, now we have the what we learned. Uh, we have six of them, which is a uh, lay a fastball up air uh, to handle unsure overshoot situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you land in the corner and see what they do before committing, yes. what does Fox? Yes. What is Fox doing? And it's only a threat if they actually hold forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not always gonna win it neutral in the way you want. Sometimes offense, sometimes defense. I think that is definitely true with the Foxes in NorCal. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play this way, but I'm noticing it's winning, and I have to just. Yeah. I have yeah. to. Play, I have to play this way. Like the way I want to play against Fox is just go and get the grab and just blow them the fuck up but yeah. i'm realizing that i i talked to mojo about this and he was mm -hmm. like we're I, you know it's like yeah pretty much my game plan is just 
take grab off the table at all costs. That's pretty much like pretty much what he said, which is a good strategy. Like, you know, because if, if you get a grab, it makes sense because if you get a grab, uh, if Falcon gets a grab in neutral, that's feeding to what he wants. But if he's not yeah. getting it, he has to work so much harder. He has to work so much harder. Yeah. So it makes sense. And it's also just like, it's smart gameplay. Um, let's see. And, uh, it's okay to do butt stop in the corner. Um, uh, in a corner, uh, when Fox has frame advantage, don't commit. Wait and see what he does after. Um, and then, uh, be defensively responsible and offensively responsible. And that's pretty much it. Those are the six. That's good. That's good. I like them. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, because like I think it's a good, good, good thing. You got I think there's a big realization that like, um, yeah. Both, both sides of your play are good, mm-hmm. you know, because it's it's crazy. Because the better you've gotten at reads, you've just been kind of like, I'm gonna play like a reads based aggressive, you know, like overshoot player, like you know. You like, know what's fun? You know what's funny? I thought about this. Like mm-hmm. I actually gave this like some serious thoughts because like my because I remember for the longest time I wasn't really good at reading. Right, well, exactly. Like, I actually have really good reads now. Like I actually know how to read players pretty well. Yeah, you do. So then you're like, okay, I'm just gonna. Obviously, it's funner to play like that. Let's not. Oh, it's it's fun as fuck. I I love I love reading players. Yeah, but you know, you gotta remember, like, yeah, the other side of your play is really good too. You know, we just we just can't always play the way we want to play. Like, you know, unfortunately, but yeah, uh, but that's the reality. Is that sometimes you have to apply to a game plan. You always want to do. It's like if you're gonna be a running like a passing team in football. But yeah. they're good at stopping the pass. You better have right. a good running game. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. like you're gonna have to fall back on the running game because probably the receiving isn't gonna be like the focus as much. And it's like exactly. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, maybe reaction tag chase is gonna be the big focus in this set. Mm. Or maybe in another set, it's like, okay, this is a set where you're gonna have to read everything because the right, ACC right. just isn't there. That's fair, yeah, for sure. It's yeah. Like you know, it, the, like these are the extreme examples, but that's just like you get the idea. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But that's but this is re- this is a really good one because like I was good, really good. like just thinking about this like I was grinding against Fox today. It's like you know, I really should just study this matchup. Like it's the first time I really I t- I spent an entire week just grinding just against Fox. Mm, that's okay. all I've done yeah. this entire week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see like uh, you apply some of these things, you know. But like that, you know, obviously, it's different styles of fox, so it's whatever. Uh, every, but still, it, it, that's another thing I've noticed. Every, every fucking high level fox in NorCal and just in general plays so differently. Well, yeah, they got they have a million options. Or fox, they can do whatever they want. Like, I'm just like, dude, every fox fox is just a good fucking character. <laughs> He's yeah. so good. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream now.